Every few seconds here, you can see medical personnel stacking up the bodies of the inmates here. And this is just a few bodies. They've been loading them into these refrigerated trucks to take them away to the morgue in Tegucigalpa. The death toll at the moment stands at over 350, but people here on the ground are telling me that could easily go to over 400. Back up at the gate there, there are riot police in full riot gear holding back the families who are eager to hear any news of their relatives. But people on the ground, medical staff tell me it could take two to three days before they even begin to identify these bodies. They're so badly burned. They will have to use DNA material that could take days, weeks or even months. Meanwhile, the entire penitentiary system in Honduras has been closed down. Everybody involved in that has been suspended pending an investigation. So clearly a lot of questions to be answered here in Honduras.